This country is alive. It's a place of replenishment and knowledge and power. The Aboriginal connection to country is an intimate relationship built over tens of thousands of years that has permeated this land with the vibrations of countless dreams and stories. There is and never has been any real separation between people, animals, plants, earth, water or air. The trees, the rivers, the mountains, the sky, even the things we make and build, it is all part of country. And country is like a family member, our cousins, aunties, our brothers and sisters. Country is where we all come from. We all breathe this country, and this country breathes us. All of our stories have been written into the land. Everything we do, everything we touch, and everything we build affects the ancient songlines of the past and sends ripples across ancient dreaming tracks that are etched into the land, sea and sky. How can our developments and built environments harness and enable this again? It starts with basic site analysis, like where are the prevailing winds and the sun direction? Where are the significant sites here? What has happened here for thousands of years? What does the landscape within country want to be? Through climate change and urbanisation, what once was a landscape, which had been shaped and managed respectfully, has now been disrupted. Country cycles are changing. But country, doesn't want to see all of her forests and reefs destroyed, the rivers run dry and the animals killed through mismanagement. Country actually wants to prevent the devastating fires, floods and droughts because they take so much effort to recover from. There's a lot we can learn from my mob who have managed this land successfully through major climatic changes for thousands of years. My people understood and worked with countries ever-changing rhythms and cycles. Aboriginal scientific and technological practices, which were adaptive and responsive to extreme weather conditions, prevented wildfires and ensured the sustainability of flora and fauna. And this successful ecological practice was woven into daily culture, which ensured this intimate relationship with nature was maintained. They look after country, and country looks after them. The Connecting with Country framework represents a subtle but powerful shift in process and practice that requires all of us to reconsider how we make decisions that affect country. Country for us embodies the land, the waterways and the skyways. And for us, you could develop the land all you want and it's still spiritually significant to our people. At the start of each project, you should think about who are the traditional owners? What are some culturally significant language names, place names? Is there significant sites nearby? or as a part of a cultural landscape. These are all the questions that you should be working with the local Aboriginal community who are traditionally from that area. And so we have a responsibility, not only to care for our natural environments, but also the built environments we are creating. The design of new places, even whole cities, can be a purposeful extension of country and imbue meaning and traditional knowledges into them. 
if the designs are rooted in cultural values that reinforce our relationship to nature and compel us to care for it, then this will ultimately become our collective cultural and ecological identity. Our constructed spaces can and should make us feel the way we feel in the bush or next to a river. It's a feeling that can be embedded into the design of an apartment building or a hospital. This is the Casino Aboriginal Medical Centre, designed by First Nations architect Kevin O'Brien in the lands of the Bundjalung people in northern New South Wales. For Mob, a visit to the medical centre is about connecting to community and to culture. So the building really needs to speak to that. A walk along this corridor with its tilted roof connects you to sky country. The bricks are made from local earth. They connect you to the land, but also provide thermal mass. And this courtyard is about nature being at the centre of our health and well-being. It's simple concepts that really can make a difference to the productivity of staff in an everyday working environment. And there's no limit to how far our cultural knowledge can permeate this reimagined Australia. My people have been using plant resins for their strength and durability for thousands of years. And in the future, this material will be used to strengthen concrete and make biodegradable plastics. There's so many innovations that can be drawn from country. Wards that filter and clean the seawater, hospitals that have medicinal gardens, and places that address truth telling fully designed using country and with country. Protected sites appropriately shared and interpreted through storytelling. So we need to ask a lot of questions in the right way and the information used creatively and in a culturally appropriate way. Then we have to learn from country, which is about reawakening the memories of the cultural landscapes. This can be harder in the city, but it's still possible. This is all Gadigal country. It's a place we now call Barangaroo. For thousands of years, this place would have been great for camping. The highest point of the harbour here for surveillance, the deepest part of the harbour here, great for fishing. But then colonisation happened and the maritime industry needed places to load and unload ships. And over the years, this place was bulldozed into submission to meet the needs of industry. In 2006, a plan was approved to rebuild this country, to take it back to its former glory. The original shoreline was reinstated. The headland was basically rebuilt and the endemic species were replanted here. And the marine habitat and sea life was regenerated. This is ancient wisdom and sophisticated mega engineering working together to rematriate country. And I reckon Barangaroo would be pretty proud of it. We're gonna keep designing. We're gonna keep building, but we can have the best of ancient wisdom and the best of urban design to create the greatest cities in the world. The New South Wales government priorities on greening our cities and public spaces has an urgent relevance and the Connecting with Country framework will help us realign the way we see nature and our relationship with it. And, make sure that progress is meaningful and beneficial to mob. Country and people having a deep conversation about what we both need and what's best for all of us.